Hello everyone, I'm Newtown FAE Tim. Today I will show you ML56 Capacitive TouchKey PCB design. First, introduce the touch sensor channel selection. ML56 series supports up to 14 touch sensor channels. Reference sensor. It is recommended to select one reference sensor at touch sensor channel TK7 or TK14. Maximize the distance between the reference sensor and other signals to minimize crosstalk. Shield electrodes. Put the shield electrode around the touch sensor to get better signal quality and waterproof capability. Recommended to select shield channel at touch TK0, TK4, or clock out pins. P3.2, P4.6, P5.7. Next, we will explain the PCB layout rules. Touch key shapes. Recommended to have a 10 times 10 mm sensor area for good touch key sensitivity. Larger touch sensor electrode work better for thicker cover. Reference sensor. Recommended to assign the reference key at touch channel TK7 or TK14. Maximize the distance to other signals to minimize crosstalk. Round shape electrode with 1 mm diameter size is enough for normal case. Ground plane. It is recommended that the traces of the touch key have a good hatched ground plane surround. It is recommended to have hatched ground plane under the touch keys. Hatched ground plane with 6 mm trace and 5 mm grid. Shield electrode. Put touch keys with shield electrode around which provides the same phase signal around touch keys. Hatched shield electrode with 6 mm trace and 50 mm grid. Shield electrode area needs to keep filled around the touch key in more than 10 mm width. Finally, explain the touch key cover thickness. As the cover thickness increases, the touch key sensitivities will decrease. Larger touch key size works better for thicker cover. Recommended touch key diameter size with different acrylic cover thickness as shown in the table. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching it. If you have any questions, please contact us.